Midlands Metalheads, the home of heavy metal. Join our nightmare. This is Martin from Midlands Metalheads Radio and I'm at Rambling Man 2016. Today is Sunday. It's alright weather-ish. That's fine. Ish day. <laughs> it's okay, a bit windy. Um, and I'm joined by Devin Townsend. Hey. How you doing? I think I'm okay. You it, think? Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been in this role. Yeah. And you forget how to do it. You know what I mean? It's like fucking crazy. You end up getting the shtick after a while, but in the straight out of the gate, you're just kind of like, how the hell do you do this? Yeah. 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 I suppose it's all new to me, so. It's yeah. Only- it's, you know, I feel that way when I do it too. It's like if I've been, like the past six, eight months, I've just been making records and yeah. like, you know, like super insular and life and yeah. kids and family and all this shit. And it, it's the same every time. I don't know why I'm surprised anymore. Like yeah. the first time back at it, you're just like, what the fuck, right? So well, you, just, you just better take a break after a Royal Albert Hall, and that break sort of consisted of another album, yeah. the Casualty So, a well, book, well, and the symphony, and yeah, the acoustic album to go with the book. That's true, isn't it? Well, you know, and then I'll, another tour. But I didn't tour. No. Yeah. You're going to though. Well, yeah, that's true. But I think it's like it's been a while. Taking a break for somebody who is in the position I'm in, it's like, you gotta be really careful. It's yeah. like, everybody's on salary and it's like, everybody's on a retainer and it's like, we gotta generate like 15,000 a month yeah, just yeah, to yeah. kind of keep it going. So if I choose not to tour, it's not like I, it's like, we got enough in the bank yeah. for like month to month, right? Yeah. So you gotta figure out something. Yeah. So the fact that I think I didn't have to tour for a year was like, that's pretty sweet, man. More time with the family, I suppose. It was, yeah. it was. And but then breaking away from that is like, crazy yeah yeah it's good you do well hey with your sort of uh production experience and stuff you're able to do a lot at home when it comes to sort of the writing process and yeah i mean writing is one thing and the production yeah. is like i think one thing that i uh, i'm trying to take advantage of as the career sort of grows is like being less in charge of the sonic parts of it yeah it's like i've been listening to loud music on stage for so many years and my ears are a fucking gong show you know what i mean yeah, so yeah, yeah, I so you gotta be uh you gotta be a little reserved in terms of like what your strengths are and uh you know so i uh i do the production thing and the mixing thing as well but uh i kind of limit it to uh to certain projects yeah, right for sure um so obviously you're you're here doing a, a casualty to call set today yeah, yeah. at six six at six yeah six. yeah how are you feeling about being back with shay and Oh, doing great. a show with her. Yeah, I love Jay, man. She's and it's incredible. Oh, she really is. And it's like, it's best for me when I don't have to talk. Yeah. It works so well for me, right? You're good at doing it. Pardon me? You're good at talking. I, I, a little bit, but it's, it's well, like... Well-structured speech. You see, the thing is, it's like the... Uh, yeah. The, uh, the theme with the casualties thing is it's like the vision for that is sort of like a... Thank you, brother. It's like, a, do you know what time it is, Freddie? It's 10 past 4. Okay. Thank you. The, the, the thing with the casualty thing is it's supposed to be like a horror movie. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like a fucking really creepy horror film with like some sort of weird Johnny Cash deliverance shit yeah, yeah, going yeah. on. And that theme is really cool to illustrate. And uh, especially when you're on board with your co-conspirator, right? Like Chase told us she gets it and so we can play into that. And and then it's something that you can have fun with, right? Yeah. And so hopefully it, it, it goes off tonight because it'd yeah, be yeah, great. Yeah. Well, I mean, it goes off is the wrong term. <laughs> Hopefully people go shit crazy for our fucking 120 calming. BPM. Yeah. Oom chick, oom chick, oom chick, shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's good for you as well, isn't it? Because with casualties, you've sort of taken like a bit of a back seat and oh, I love that. And given more more of the the, the front end to, to her rather than yourself, which so is much a bit better. of a nice break, isn't oh it? Oh my I suppose. god, it's so much better. Yeah. Plus, I think it's like I think with a lot of it, it's like uh, you know, I don't. Like, ultimately, I'd like to play bass in a band, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? Because then it's like I'm good at support. I think I'm actually better at support than yeah. I am being in the front row. Because the front row, for me, it just often ends in this, like... You know, I'm still so fucking insecure, dude, that it's like, as this shit goes along, I, I find that it's like doing that 
Q and A thing. I just end up being like, wow, I just like freaking out, man. And then when it's done, you're just like, what? How the fuck did that yeah. happen? Like, what happened there? But you know, you play the cards you're dealt, right? Yeah. And you did, yeah. As you said, the Q and A thing, you did that a little bit ago. Yeah. And that was fun. It was fun. It was but just. But if, if you got to experience it, like, yeah, very, I mean, very professional and yeah, sort of yeah, first class. That's how I roll. Man. Yeah, it was good. I think the <laughs> thing is, it's like. Like my whole trip with music in general is I react to shit. So if you're in an environment like that, it's like that's you react to it. I mean, there's like yeah. some band playing around the corner. It's like you know, it's a bunch of people there, and everybody's yeah. looking at you like, what are you gonna do? Yeah. It's like, well, what are you gonna do? I think you can only just react to it. Yeah. I hope that that's uh, accurate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'd like to touch a little bit on transcendence. Because that's coming out 9th of September. Is it have 9th? you heard it? Yeah. Oh, I haven't pre-ordered it yet. Oh, I haven't heard it. Oh, okay. Is it out available to hear? No, I don't know if, if it got sent to like a press. No, I don't. I don't. Yeah. I've asked about it, but yeah, yeah. not yet. Um, but I am eager to hear it. It's really good. Yeah? Yeah. Well, compared to previous albums you've done, what ones it sort of lean more towards in the sense of style? Because and... well, you cover so many different styles over your albums. You've done it's, it's so a, many different things. Right? This time I kind of integrated a bunch of different aspects of it, like other people's opinions. Yeah. And like, you know, Nolly was involved and it's like for him to mix and all these sorts of things was like, I allowed him to, not allowed him, but I wanted to sort of get away from my typical thing. So I tried to, I tried to talk to people like, well, what do you think? Yeah. Are the guitars loud enough? It's like... Know? And typically people are like, well, this is what you're doing and what you have done in the records that if I was to change it, I would. Yeah. I turn the guitars up, I turn the drums up, I turn the echo down, I yeah. turn some of the goo down, right? Yeah. And dude, I was like, fucking, I didn't want to do it. I was like, no, <laughs> man, it's my trip. But at the end of it, I was like, it's worth a shot doing yeah, it. So yeah, it's yeah. it's heavier. It's a lot more immediate sounding. But it's ultimately, it's the same shit that I do. It's just this year's version of it, yeah. right? With this year's sort of collection of experiences and people and, and and I think ultimately it's probably closest to it sounds a lot like DTP yeah but I'm shit at selling myself man you know the thing that That's I do what you're here to do I know the thing that I do <laughs> it's this year's version yeah and the guitars are louder yeah That's and, and I didn't phone it in okay and I think that's something that if I was going to ever say anything about music it's like if i truly feel like i did the best job that i could and it means something to me then that's all that's ultimately important yeah. if it acts as an accurate snapshot to a point in time that was important to me for whatever reason yeah. then that's ultimately what was important and that's what this does yeah. it takes way more effort for me to do that with dtp now than it did in the beginning though yeah. just because how much gas is in those tanks yeah right Sure. But I think that if there's anything I could say about this one is it's like I didn't it's fucking really good, like legitimately. Yeah. And I worked really hard on not phoning in any of it, right? Yeah. So did the rest of the guys and, and I think I think people are actually really gonna like it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. I never know. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I think it's really good. good. Yeah. I should be coming to one of your shows next year. Snare sounds really so, good. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah. Sure, it all sounds good. It really does. Nolly yeah. is fucking great, man. Yeah. Holy shit. Fuck, that guy's good, man. Yeah. He's still got young I ears. I hear it. I know. He's got like, he's, he's not even 30 yet. He doesn't no. have a big, huge dip in his high mid frequencies <laughs> like, you know, old bastards God. like me <laughs> do. <laughs> um, and then, as well, you have your book. Yeah, all oh, right. That's out very soon. That's a pain in the ass. It's been pushed right. back a little bit. I've yeah. pre ordered it, right? Thank you. There's, one problem with that though. Go. I'm extremely dyslexic. Dyslexic? D d yeah. 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 Um, so I'm not going to be able to read it. Well, I mean, maybe I should do an audio version of it. That's Talking what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. 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 Get Morgan, Will you? Morgan Freeman to do it. Says, it's not just myself. <laughs> <laughs> that would be incredible. Oh my God. It's, there's either sort. There's, there's either two options. Either you do an audio book version for people like me. Yeah, yeah. Or you phone me up every night and read it to me before I go to sleep. Before you go to sleep? Yeah. Are you comfy? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Chapter three. How I hated myself in the mid nineties. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, um, that was an, that took me a year to do that project, man. It was like, I wrote it all, like everything on it. It's like, I started by dictating it to somebody. And then when I got the manuscript back, it wasn't how I would say yeah. it. 
So I rewrote everything, man. It was like a huge amount of work. And I mean, I got like grade 12 writing skills, you yeah. know what I mean? It's like I did okay in high school, but then I stopped writing, right? So it took a lot of work for me to like make it yeah, yeah, yeah. right. And uh, But it's in my own words and it says what I want to say. And That's always important. I don't think I threw anybody under the bus, you know what I mean? It's like... But it was really a challenge because, you know what, it like, implies such arrogance at some level to be yeah. like an autobiography. So I tried to take the angle of it being more about, um, you know, how the career has progressed and, and how I managed to sort of maintain it. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that I think could probably um, dig that, yeah. you know. I'm like, dude, I, just, I can't help but see the, the Stimpy or the Wren and the, <laughs> the Wren and the, yeah. Oh, Reddit. Yeah. Oh, you got Stimpy there too. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, Reddit Stimpy. Johnny Bravo. Yeah, I saw that. That's good awesome. Good fun. Yeah. All good fun. Yep. Next thing. Cool. The other thing you have going on. What about, what else? What else? Uh, oh, I got a symphony. The symphony? Yeah, I got a ton What's of going shit. on with that? I mean, you went on about some big, elaborate yeah, story. Yeah, so stupid. That it sounded incredible. Yeah, it's going to be great. It would be cool. Yeah. Uh, so what, what, what's going on with that? I mean, now that everything else is sort of coming to a getting out of the way stage, like, well, I'm you trying can put to, more focus into it. Like. I'm trying to do myself and everybody involved in the organization a favor and take one thing at a time. Yeah. Because typically I get so worked up about the next project that I don't focus on the yeah. current one and then I resent it. Yeah. So now I'm, I'm making these mental notes as to what it is that I want to do in the future, yeah. but I'm less uh, concerned about, uh, you know, finishing that one. Yeah, I've got a like a folder of stuff on my desktop that is essentially like when you get to it, here's the direction, yeah. here's the aesthetic, here's the theme, and here's the musical component. Yeah. But until such time that you can focus your attentions on that solely, it's in your best interest to do what's on your plate right now. Yeah. Right? I'm learning, dude. Middle age. You're in it. Symphony. Yeah. What's that? Well, doing a symphony is completely different. It's gonna be wicked. It's completely different. It's gonna be wicked. But it'd be yeah. cool because you've got that sort of understanding because you use a lot of that. Totally. Even though it's like programmed in, you've used a lot of it. Totally. You know? Yeah. So it's... It, and hopefully it will like... It's necessary for what you do because it would work. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully no it singing, won't be an end up... Unless there is singing. There's gonna be singing. It's gonna be singing. It's gonna be apocalyptic. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be so dark. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. When are you hoping? When they get... When they let me. When they let you. Yeah. Yeah. And I haven't broached it yet because I spent so much fucking money on yeah. the last few things I did that yeah. I gotta like figure it out, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. The extra screens at the Albert Hall that you didn't oh, tell them about. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a uh, point of contention for a little while. Worth it. It was totally Definitely worth it. But just wait till I do this symphony. I mean, you thought that was expensive. Motherfucker. Yo. This next back, thing. Back to the Albert Hall. Yeah. Perfect no, venue. I think that I'd like to do it in a bigger one. Yeah? Yeah. But we got to make sure people give a shit about it first in order to sell those tickets. And then you got to be able the, to afford the symphony and the fucking flying thing is, your, or whatever. your fans are very dedicated. Yeah, they really are. So it, it they would really sell, are. especially that, because it's new. Yeah. You know? No, it really will, man. It's just, it's, it's, uh, you got to, you got to be careful with it, though. You yeah. know, you don't want to oversaturate yeah. with your own trip, right? And especially something that's like, yeah, my what I do can be pretty exhausting too. Yeah. Not only for other people, but for myself. Yeah. So I think that making it special is one thing, but but sort of making it like this omnipresent weird thing is just ultimately going to devalue it, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like I don't do what I do to try and be provocative or weird or anything. It's just a, a lot of times I'm just like it's hard for me to take my own trip seriously just because I'm a human and I don't know shit and it's like. Seems like anytime I think of people that feel that they do, yeah, no, I know what you mean. I have a hard time just being like, oh, fuck, come on, dude, oh, come, right. like, you, come on. So Paper it's size. so a lot of times I'll start with the intention of it being like super yeah. sincere and legit, and by the end of it, I'm like, eh, and then they all blew up or something, you yeah. know, like, you know, and it's no one ending. got what they wanted. Good ending. And then onward, <laughs> you know, and they had some dinner, and that was it. Um, <laughs> Now, before I finish, I know you, you always get the dreaded strapping question. Yeah, sure. But I've, that's been covered enough. Yeah, yeah. But one thing that's sort of been covering me is when you did the Albert Hall show, you did uh, the Death of Music. Yeah, yeah. You got rid of your guitar. Yeah, yeah. It's back to the old school, yeah, how it yeah. used to be. Yeah. 
And then since then, I've sort of had it in my head like, if Steve Vai came up to you yeah. and said, one off or a couple of shows, do sex and religion, what would you think of that? Sure. Yeah? Yeah, I wouldn't want to do too much because no. I've got a ton of things going yeah, on. But you got yeah, your own stuff, Steve's but... a good friend and I'm happy to, sure. Yeah, so that sort of ended on. Cause it's, it's, oh, yeah, it's no, we're good. Totally different. I owe, him, I owe him a couple of favors too, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Because that would be incredible to see. Yeah, perhaps. Because since, well, how old was you? 19 or 20. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I was your, never... your vocals have progressed incredibly since then. Yeah, it'd be interesting yeah, to see if I can still hit some of those notes. <laughs> I mean, I yeah. uh, I think the thing with the Vi thing is I was never particularly attached to the music. Yeah. So yeah, it yeah, makes yeah. it difficult for me to reconnect with it just simply yeah. based on like that. But I mean, it's also a part of it all. And and I mean, it's my voice, so I could, I could do yeah. it. But I mean, there's currently... I'm more open to that than I yeah. am strapping, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, sure. Cool. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure. You too, brother. Thank you very I'm much, a, man. I will leave my microphone. No problem, brother. Thank you, man. Yeah, thank you. Midlands Metalheads, the home of heavy metal. Join our nightmare. Ha 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 ha!